Welcome to the Something Good Podcast, hosted by Renee Mueller, powered by Verly. This is where we interview top business professionals, industry insiders, operational managers, and thought leaders from around the nation. Diving into hot current topics to help you experience something good. All right. Good morning. Yep. Chase Jaster's with us. So good morning. I said that right. Yep. Jaster. Okay. Cool. So you are from Columbus, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Alumni. Yep. Which is awesome. That's one of the reasons you're here. The other reason is I have some, like I said, tough questions to ask you about landscaping. So I can't wait to hear all about it. So tell me what year you graduated. I graduated uh, in 2014 from Lakeview. Okay. So that was like yesterday. <laughs> it feels <laughs> plenty of years ago. That's right. Okay. So your family, most of them, are they from Columbus area? Yeah. Okay. My mom's side's from Fullerton area. Then oh. they live south of town here. Then dad's side is from Columbus here. Okay. Very cool. So did you move away and come back? Did you just decide to take down roots and keep your business here? And Yeah, I, I kind of want to start a business in Columbus next to family and everything. That way I know I have a good fam family you can always rely on, which is huge. I mean, huge for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Columbus has plenty of opportunity to do whatever you want with your life yeah. and it's amazing that you yeah. see that. So, I mean, a lot of young people don't see that. The goal is to move away and never come back, right? You can't have anything successful here. It's boring, yeah. you know, on and on and on. And so, Columbus is a growing town. and It really is. The last five years, it's grown substantially. So, Oh, it's crazy amount. Yeah. So you, you really didn't leave and come back then. You you wanted to stay here and have that family support and yep. create your own business. And what gave you the idea to start a business? Because that's also unusual. Uh, yeah. I just wanted a job, I think, back in... I was like 13 years old, just make money started and young. <laughs> start yep. young. That way I can. So let me guess, you started mowing lawns at that point? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Playing in landscaping already? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I worked for a local guy here in town for okay. 10 years. Then when I went to college, I went to for horticulture, then came oh. back. and. Well, so you did then? Yep. And where was this at? In Curtis. Curtis? Yeah. Nebraska? Yep. Out south of North Platte. Really? About four hours ago. There's a horticulture school there? Yeah. Oh, did not know yeah. that. It's like the two-year school of uh, UNL, pretty much. Okay. Very cool. That's nice that there's that option. So a lot of people probably don't realize how many options there are, including myself. So. Yep. Okay. So then you came back in what year? It'd be 2016. Okay. Yeah. I slowly started to do my own stuff after work and on the weekends. Then. Okay. I ventured off to full-time for myself, and I haven't looked back. Since. Awesome. So do you have the whole spectrum of a business? Employees? Yep. Yeah. I I have my brother help me. Okay. So you do so, have so much, family yeah. business. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is he yeah. younger? Yeah. He's 10 years younger than me. So. Oh, wow. So he's still in school. Yeah. He, he's like, come on. Sophomore, if I okay. remember right. At Lakeview? Uh, Columbus here. Oh, Columbus. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So what sorts of landscaping do you do? What do you specialize in? Anything? Uh, or just do everything? Pretty much everything. Lawn care. I... I enjoy doing retaining walls, patio. I was just going to ask you that. You the, do hardscaping? Yeah, the hardscape. Yep. I like. Well, okay. I'll do landscaping around the house and everything. Good to know. Redo yards. Pretty much the whole. Okay. How about as far as uh, some of the hardscapes, uh, patios, it's gotten really popular to do stamped concrete, things like that? I don't do that. No. Okay. I, I feel like somebody else can do that. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you will do retaining walls as yep. well? Well, that's perfect. So we have many people that are asking uh, for things like, you know, repairs of those things or inspections, things like that. Can you handle stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Good to know. Yeah. We should have you come and talk at one of our meetings. So we'll make sure Matt sets that up so people will know. Yeah. That will be great. Yeah. And we'll put you on our vendor list. That's a big deal. So perfect. Yeah, cool. Speaking of that, I've got your contact information on oh, your yeah. NFC sticker yep. over there. So let's see if this actually works. We're going to try it right now. So Chase, if you want, I've got my home screen up. So just tap my phone. Like so, no, we probably can't see this on the screen. There it is, right there. All right, let's see. Oh, Matt has your information, not your pretty picture. So <laughs> you've got to go in and customize that. He yep. can show you yeah. how to do it. Yep. But this is pretty cool because it will give everyone a digital business card. So you just tap their phone. You can do it without knowing sometimes. So have your picture, your email address, website, uh, any socials. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to add you to my contacts and then when you get a chance to update it i'll check it out sounds so, great all right cool thanks for doing that matt so um how about any anything else that you enjoy i mean what, what do you do around columbus besides work uh 
like to go to the lake to my grandparents' lake, just hang out, go fishing. Your um, grandparents have their own lake? Uh, well, they live at a lake. <laughs> oh, which one? Uh, Clear Lake. Okay, yeah. Well, that's yeah. a nice area. Yeah. So when I first started my business, I didn't do a whole lot other activities and I want to slowly start getting back into the hunting and fishing and oh, all, of course. all that. Yep. Yep. Got to put in the time. <laughs> yep. That's exactly right. Awesome. Well, there's plenty of that to do around here. So, um, okay. Well, how about, um, projects that you've done that you're proud to showcase? Uh, I'd, oh, they'd be probably more retaining walls and patios. Okay. There. I just, do you take pictures of all your work? I do. Do you? Yeah. How about drone footage? I don't have a drone. Ah, we have, I think, three of them, maybe four. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll just do that sometime. So. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to get a yep. top view of yep. everything. Yep. Megan and our crew, they love to go out and, and shoot. So I think sometime if you have something that you just want to showcase, you know, in that way, we can help you with that. Of so. course. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, maybe we'll just trade some services. We'll figure that out. Perfect. So. Um, cool, cool. Well, um, let's see. What other questions do I have? How about um, anything else in your future that you would like to do, accomplish any big aspirations, like adding 10 employees or 10 trucks or... Yep. I hope to get about probably five to six employees okay. for Columbus. Then it's always crazy to think, try to go add another business in another town. And yep. Because right off. now you focus just on Columbus, right? Yep. Pretty much? Yeah. And the surrounding okay. area. It probably keeps you busy enough. Oh yeah. Who's your biggest competitor? Uh, probably between Cerny, Wilkie. Yep. The there's big, a lot of them, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of them. So would you say at some them. point you have the the maybe dream of having your own like greenhouse or, or big shop area or it'd be a bit more big shop area that okay. way. I might the, have one. The big uh <laughs> greenhouse, I'm not too Yeah. Crazy. That's maybe about. another specialty. Yeah, that's yeah. another specialty to work. Mm -hmm. But I like to be outside, hands on. Of course. Yeah. So I think as far as advertising goes, you could probably just put up some information at Lakeview and get all those kids that want to mow and be outside and, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done too much advertising. It's more word of mouth mm -hmm. to where, which is great where you don't have to yeah. spend. But Obviously, when I mean, you, people know who you are. So. Yeah. But when you advertise, then you can get to bigger areas and more known. Yep. That way that's you can true. get better jobs. And, yep. And you've got a website. Uh, Facebook. Okay. Just Facebook, which yep. is fine. So any other social platforms? Okay, so on Facebook, it's Jaster Landscaping, I'm guessing? Yep. Okay, so everybody checking out on Jaster. That's J-A-S-T-E-R, Landscaping. And so you showcase probably some of your projects there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a question, Matt? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like to bring him in sometimes. Yeah, well, so Chip, you did mention if it's okay, um, you, you can wait a little bit, but why did you want to come back to Columbus? You're originally you know, from your own time until uh, 91 had to be Yep. Yeah. Columbus is a growing town where I can extend my business as far as I can reach or dream of. And I just like to be around family and friends. Cool. Yeah. Friends and family was a huge part of me being where I am today. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have them, I don't know where I oh, would be. That's pretty awesome. And your parents are both here now, yep. right? Okay. What do they do? Uh, mom's a para at elementary school, West Park. Okay. Then dad is a salesman for like tool and die oh okay yeah. they're based out of minneapolis but they have an office in omaha okay well very cool i think matt most people i think have said the common thread is like friends or family right coming back to columbus you know or a business opportunity i mean there's been we have several major employers so a lot of people are like well this is where the job was you know yep. and then um you know our job here uh with all the companies combined is to make them feel at home to welcome them to help them get integrated into groups that they you know, maybe want to know or, or would enjoy some sort of pastime. Um, and so you're right, though, the last five years, for sure, Columbus has grown by leaps and bounds. And so if you know all the businesses coming up, you know, as far as the casino being approved yep, and, yeah, hotel bring and more jobs restaurants. And, and, oh, my gosh. I mean, we have a ton of jobs, you know. Oh, and yeah. so, so that's the next feat is looking at where do we put these people, you know. So we have another project I'll probably have you take a look at, and that would be a couple of multifamilies that we have. And so I don't know if you've done any projects like that yet, but uh, not really. No. Okay. You do mostly residential. 
Oh, right, residential, commercial. and I got some okay. commercial. Accounts. I think you helped on this building. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes, this will be a, a pretty sizable project with a pool and a clubhouse, and so we'll need some some landscaping around there. And uh, and the church that is just adjacent to the property is looking at maybe combining forces and doing some landscaping as well. Awesome. So so we'll have you take a look at that. That so, sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. This is very cool. So that's that's all kind of a thanks for waiting on me this morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, what do you think that Columbus? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, with Columbus being a growing town, I like to see more family activities. Like, I think something like a event center. I mean, we have the Y, and they're uh, adding on to the field house. If I yep, the field house correct. is going to be a really big project, I think. But that's also, I would say, probably number one as far as what people are wanting or quality of life projects. You yep. know, we like to have our our hands and help in almost everything but those quality of life projects have become really important and so we have the walking and bike trails which we try to emphasize and let people know that they're here you know we were proud to put the one behind this building here and and uh try to um encourage events like the beer and bagel uh run that we have coming up you know yeah, and yeah. uh matt what's the date on that may 7th may 7th so um tickets on sale go to uh kwleadcolumbus.com Yep. Is that right? Check our, Facebook, we'll check our Facebook page. We have a bunch out there. Had to get through. the plug in there. Scan the QR code. Exactly. Scan, scan a QR code. <laughs> so so we love to encourage things like that and the use of that. And that's all, all over Columbus, you know, way north that people probably don't even realize. And yeah. then um, the skate project over here by the high school, you know, as far as ice skating goes. And yeah, that will be a fun activity. Yeah, I mean, that'll be really fun. Fun and, activity. Right, right, exactly. And, and you know, such a um, devoted crew that, that worked on that and the gal that started it. Um, Liz Blazer. I think it's just amazing to see those things take shape, and we definitely need more quality of life projects, though. So yep. I do think the field house is going to be a big deal. Yep. Yeah, that'll bring I yeah. think, a lot more people closer together. Yeah. Then... Yeah. Agreed. So I know there's been several times over the last few weeks that we've got to take the kids like bowling, you know, and every night there seems to be a league or something's going on. It. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's like, well, there's nothing to do then for these young kids, especially, you know. So some sort of yeah, like uh, like you're an right. event center, like yeah, goat cards. Uh, anything, That'd be awesome, just, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot of people from Columbus goes to Omaha to go yeah. and do that kind of. I stuff. mean, and they would do that anyway. Yeah. And the the you know more time that's gone on, you know, the closer we really become, the quicker it is to get there. You know, yep. so I mean, an hour or a little over, you know, depending on where you're going to Omaha because of the four lane, which um, hopefully will be complete here before too long. But yeah, it's pretty incredible to to see. I think they would probably go regardless but we do need more of those projects here so yeah that's a good point so any other questions matt uh well i think you also came through talking a little bit about them and you had mentioned that you see maybe some more uh like sit down restaurants not sitting on the spot there right that's a little oh, on the yeah. list too yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i feel like columbus has plenty of fast food joints yeah i agree that's the other thing it's been every every place we've gone recently and maybe it's just due to people wanting to get out more but they're packed oh, i mean every place packed, is packed every. yeah yeah so some nice restaurants you're right and that's a hard business to be in yeah but if you look at the studies that columbus has done that's top of the list so housing um the quality of life projects places to eat definitely all up there so yeah and i'm sure columbus will be here or there pretty yeah. soon yeah, I mean, I would guess with again the casino coming, it's gonna it's gonna make a big difference. So of course. you know, we I have I'm so surprised. I've had I bet at least a dozen college students reach out to me who are from around Columbus and they want to do internships over the summer, and they're thinking maybe they want to come back eventually, you know, to Columbus. So that's that's a pretty good sign. Yep. That's a big yeah, deal. that's a great sign. Yeah, for yeah, them to come back and yeah, yeah, make Columbus a better community. Well, especially in that demographic, you know, that's really the initiative of the chamber and the, the city t is to get, you know, younger people back. I mean, they're having kids and, you know, then become more integrated in the community. And so, so yeah, that is a big deal. And, and hopefully we can get some of them into, you know, who, who also want to make those changes and, and help with those things. And that's a, that's a big, tough task as well. So, yep. so anyway, all right, Chase, well, any questions for us or anything else you want to add? No, I can't think off the top of my head. Okay. Your phone number, what's your phone number? Uh, 402 276 44 Four, five. All right. So those landscaping needs, including hardscaping, give Chase a call. And um, thank you again, Chase, for being with us today. Yep. Thank you. All righty.